A few months ago, the check engine light came on on my Super Duty. I drive a six liter power stroke. She knows there ain't nowhere that 6.0 power stroke can't go. And that's what the 4x4 four four is for. Yeah. So it's bulletproofed with the head studs and the EGR cooler, and it hasn't given me very many problems, but every now and then you're still gonna have something goofy. So I used my Banks tuner to pull codes. Looks like I got a number five glow plug going bad. So number five is gonna be on the odd bank, that's the right side of the engine, and that's very difficult to get to. Here's the tools I used to pull this apart. What I need to do is get that right side inner fender liner out. That's the majority of the job. So popping out these little clips in the fender liner, I got my trim tool. And then it's just a matter of pulling out the eight millimeters and five and a half millimeter screws. Now we just need to coax that plastic liner out of there gently and you're really going to want to push it back into the engine to get it to release from inside the fender. So I use PB Blaster or WD-40 works great too. Spray down the glow plug connector. Now if your connector is old and falling apart, expect to put a new harness in at this time. But my harness is in good shape because I have never pried on it or broke it. So what I do is push in on the connector a little bit and then pull out a little bit and then push in and just repeat this until that o-ring finally gives up and the penetrating fluid works in there so on the right side of the engine looking at the front we got cylinder number one three five and seven in the back i've already done number five and i got a two pack of glow plugs that's how ford's shipping them now so i figured i'll go ahead and change number three as well since it's difficult to get to and since last year I lost number seven, that'll be almost all of them for this side. I think I can get number one from the engine compartment when it fails. Okay, so I loosened it up with a deep 10 millimeter, and then usually they come right out really easy. There's oil soaked in there, and use a magnet of some sort to coax it out of the head. Here's the two pack. Uh, part number may vary for your application. Mine's a 2006. Now be careful when you drop the glow plug back into the engine. Make sure it's going in at the same angle it came out. It is possible to get them in crooked and they'll want to thread into the oil drain hole inside the cylinder head. So we're just going to go ahead and screw it down. You can basically just go snug with these, but they tighten in about the same as a spark plug at 14 foot-pounds is the book specification. Uh, you'll notice I don't have a torque wrench here, I just kind of snug them in. Okay, so the easy part is over. It's just a matter of putting it all back together. If you have a new glow plug harness, you're just going to put that in, otherwise uh, clip that glow plug harness back in and make sure, pay attention, that the harness clips onto the glow plug and pushes down all the way in. Back to the real tricky part and the biggest pain in the butt of the whole job is getting that fender liner back in. So you can see I'm kind of working it and I'm really pushing back into the engine with the liner to get it to suck in and around that metal. So you shouldn't have to bend your fender or bend any metal. It just needs to be slowly worked and kind of eased back in. Get your vacuum reservoir back in. I live in a rust state, so I like to use anti-seize on all these fasteners.
Well, all that's left to do is clear that code and see if it comes back when we fire up the truck. So far, so good. All right, and there we go. Check engine light fixed. So thanks for watching. I just wanted to give some of my tips on how to get that fender liner out and how to get the glow plug harness disconnected. And uh, good luck with changing your own glow plugs. Thanks for watching.